Hi everyone, Dr. Arik Hickman here, physical therapist. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about chronic pain. Chronic pain is a condition that we treat very often in our clinical setting, and we use a very unique approach in the treatment of patients with pain. For many of you who are watching this video, you've had pain for many months, maybe even many years. You've probably tried many different types of treatment, including physical therapy. Um, and maybe you've seen varied results. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Usually it's all temporary. Oftentimes when we're treating chronic pain, we miss the boat when you come into physical therapy. Our focus is very much on how is your body moving. We're looking for weak muscles, joints that maybe aren't functioning properly. And of course, we want to be able to reproduce your pain as a way of noting that we can say, all right, we know what caused it, now we should be able to treat it. The fact is that the longer that you've had pain, it's no longer the same thing as it once was. So maybe when you first started experiencing pain, it was due to an underlying musculoskeletal problem. Maybe you developed low back pain after doing a lot of heavy lifting or a lot of gardening. Uh, maybe you developed ankle pain after you sprained your ankle. Uh, maybe some of the most common is you developed low back and neck pain after being in a car accident or some other sort of physical trauma, such as a work injury. The reality is, is we know a lot more about pain than we ever did before. And because of that, our treatment of chronic pain has to change, it has to shift. So no longer do we just simply say, okay, let's see how your joints are moving. Let's see how your muscles are working. But we wanna know more about your history. We wanna understand how long have you had this pain? How many treatments have you had for it? How many of those have been successful? How many of those have flared you up? In our clinical setting, we utilize a technique called graded motor imagery, along with a lot of pain neuroscience education or therapeutic neuroscience education. These are very, very well-researched techniques that help us be able to treat your chronic pain. Regarding pain education, what we utilize is a lot of neuroscience. So what does that mean? That means that when you come in for your PT session at your initial visit, we take a very, very, very long history. Usually it takes the full hour. At the end of that time, we start to talk to you a little bit about pain. We tell you that pain is created in the brain. It's not that it's in your head, that's very, very important. All pain is 100% real, but if you're experiencing pain in your physical body, that's not necessarily happening because you have physical damage or tissue injury. And that's a very, very important distinction to understand about pain. By the time that a patient sees us, if you've been experiencing pain for many months or many years, oftentimes there's something new and different that's happening in the body, even if the pain feels exactly the same. So all pain that you experience in your body, 100% of the time, happens because your brain determines that something dangerous is happening and it needs to protect you. So it's important to note, all pain is protection. So let's give you an example. Let's say you're walking and you step on a nail. We would hope that that would be painful. It's important to note that it is not the nail going through the foot that causes pain. In fact, you have receptors in your foot and all over your body that are danger receptors or potential danger receptors. So these receptors feel the fact that you've stepped on the nail. That message travels from your foot all the way up to your brain. And your brain has to take a fraction of a millisecond to decide what just happened to my foot, what is happening all around me when I'm experiencing this, what's my past sensory experience like with something similar to this, and is this dangerous? If at the end of that, your brain decides something dangerous has just happened at your foot, it is only then that you will experience pain. If your brain doesn't think it's dangerous, you will not feel it. And I have had 
countless patients who've told me stories in which they've experienced really severe physical trauma, including stepping on a nail and not feeling pain. So the most common answer that patients will say is, it's adrenaline, it's some sort of shock. However, the research shows that adrenaline doesn't make it that quickly through the body, at least not fast enough for it to be the response and for it to affect how the foot responds to what's happening in terms of stepping on the nail. So one of the very first things that we do is we educate patients. And we spend sometimes four to six sessions just educating on neuroscience. The research has shown that if we educate you on pain, on why we experience pain in the body, the system starts to treat the pain. And you get better and better, and your pain gets less and less. If you have any more questions, if you have any thoughts on this, please feel free to comment below. If you like this video, definitely give, give me a thumbs up. Contact the clinic if you have any more questions. And of course, I'm gonna keep bringing videos along. Some of them are gonna be a little bit longer, some will be a little shorter. All kind of talking about this idea of pain and how pain is produced in the brain in response to a perceived threat. Thanks for watching.